Welcome back everyone to the Real South Dakota Men YouTube channel. Today we are hunting geese in the tundra. Let's get to it. Doo -doo -doo. So the, the plan is that there's geese about straight yonder and the plan is going to be that when they try to fly to straight yonder that we're going to shoot them and they're going to die and then we're going to clean them and cook them and eat them for the Real South Dakota Men video. So that is, that is the plays right now so now it's a waiting game. They're still over there. Let's just stay here. Shop. We got what we weren't hunting for. Come show it to the camera. We will be doing a catch, clean, and cook, but it might not be geese. Got ourselves a little red tree squirrel here. <laughs> He'll be good eating. I think we should have a little chat. What should we chat about? Is this where babies come from? Is that what you want to talk about? <laughs> Mid hunt update. We have killed squirrel. Waiting for the sun to set so we can go back. It is a gorgeous day out here. It's real South Dakota men weather. Yes. Fake South Dakota men would not stay out in weather like this, but real ones stick it out. Yeah. Club is back yonder. The plays are going to be to we'll stay here and hope some geese fly over. That's the place. So. I mean, a few. Uh, we had a few. We, we had our chance. We kind of. Kind of whiffed. Yeah, bit. we, we kind of. Not not too hard. Not like wow, we should have killed those, but. Eh, more like might. wow, we shouldn't have scared all those off the water. Yeah. Because those are kind of our decoys. That was kind of a three-way faux pas. Yeah. I mean, I mean, not bad. We yeah. would have got the squirrel out without yeah. scaring those up, but. Well, hopefully we get some more. All right, so, end of midday update. The Gleer and GoPro view because our big camera's battery is on our last leg, so we're conserving that for any actual stationary hunting that we're doing. Right now we have a bit of a lull, so we're gonna go see if we can find any more squirrels or rabbits to make a meal out of. So that is, that is the plan. Big toad. That is a pretty big squirrel. Look at those little paws on that boy. There we go. We all shot something today. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah, all right. Keep moving. Keep on keeping on. There's more animals in here. I know it. Ready for the gag, Mitch? Yeah, I'm ready for the gag. Mm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> A triple dog bear you, the stick your tongue to the gun. <laughs> yeah. See that? That is taste buds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all 9,000. For all 9,000 taste buds. Aerate it. Warm it up. That pop milk. That cream. Pure milk. <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> you got him. Got squirrels, boys. End up with five. Every time I do this, I'm gonna do that thing. 
Oh, there they all go. Too right late. over our spot. But it's too late. Right over our spot. I know. Yeah. 514. 514. 508 was sunset. We were literally just over there. Man, can't see him on the GoPro, but quite that, a that was what we were waiting for right there. It's a, a big old rip. We have squirrels, mate. It's not we, a we got squirrels, though. We got squirrels. This, this is not a wasted trip. We... Chop, what are we going to do with these? We're going to cook them. We're going to clean them and cook them up for you guys. So, stay tuned. We'd like to give you fair warning. If you are a member of PETA or any Squirrels Right activist group, now is the portion of the video you'd like to skip. If you want to continue watching, you can skip to this part of the video right here. Okay, the first step in cleaning your squirrels is going to be removing the head, the tails, and then cutting the legs at the joint. So we're going to be using this bigger-ish knife to go about that. Set that down there. I guess we don't need to... What you really want to focus on with the squirrel is you want the back straps and these hind quarters, so you don't really have to worry about the front legs. And I watched one poorly done video on YouTube, so I am an expert. <laughs> now we've got to our skin, Colette. What are you going to do, Colette? I really don't know, but what Explain. we're going to start off doing is we want to skin the thing clean of all the fur. So I'm going to start off with cutting kind of down the center here. just. Just nope. a nice little incision yeah, about right there. You, there. you don't want to cut into the meat, you just want to get under the skin. There we go. And then you want to pull apart in a motion like so. Here. Kind of like this. It's very frozen. It's not even frozen. Oh, look at that. Fresh squirrel. Make sure you <sighs> grab it. If you want to have fun, you can do it with friends. Oh, oh. I don't think we got enough on there. Oh. She's here. This is this is where our problem is. Snip that right in there. This is out. I thought you were going the other way. Okay, there you go. Okay. Smelled nice and ripe. Oh, you got a little bit too much. A little sensitive. If we feel like it. Holy dough. Wow, we let this thing ripen up a little bit much. Oh, here's the BBs. Here's the goose Holy logs. Holy crap. That was you. Yeah, this, this one was all me. I will admit, 10 gauge, triple B, three and a half inch magnum <laughs> shells. Holy marble size. Probably a bit much for squirrels, but you know. Okay, when you're shooting geese. When you're shooting again. geese and you find squirrels, when life gives you lemons, you throw the lemons back. Gah! And just like that. Oh. <laughs> you can make puppets by finding the tendons. See, look. These things have claws on them. Feel that. Why do you feel so bad when this man up and come back? Cut the squirrels. Stop. That's what I thought. It was clawing me. I felt the claws. <laughs> it was clawing me too. Hey, look at the, look at the bright side shop. I don't know if we really need to do anything on this half of the body. Degree. No, no. That's what. Shop. Would you say we just kind of. So, you're going to want to basically just kind of get these legs down to the bone. So you're going to want to start off doing is just sliding your knife in up here behind this bone up here. Follow that bone all the way down. 
and then slice in. And that's a piece of meat. And then, I mean, obviously there's more meat kind of hanging around. These things don't have a lot of meat on them, so you kind of got to get what you can get. And then, right here on the back, kind of go in at it again. Get that piece. And then, a lot of this is kind of tendon, sort of, so we'll see what we can do. See about. You see if there's any good meat here? Just kind of just take it all, as much as you can. And then you're going to want to take the back steps. So this little light area right here is, is the spine, and you're going to want to come on either side of that. There's kind of three white lines. You want to follow the outside white lines. The middle one's the spine, then you just kind of cut up until you hit the shoulder blade. And then you cut down until you hit the back shoulder blade. You getting this, Mitch? Yeah. And then you just kind of want to kind of want to take it, make a slice so you can kind of, kind of get your hands on it. So then you just pull back and then you just kind of trim it back off the square rail. Sorry for the view of this one. The guts kind of came out there. Just taking the skin off. But that's okay. Part of the game. Part of the game. Real something going. And another back trip. All right. Just to kind of give you an idea as to how much nut, how much, not knives, how much meat you actually get off of this, I mean, this is, this is five squirrels worth of meat right here, and I mean, that's, that's my hand for comparison, that's about three fingers of squirrel, no ice. <laughs> Alright, my hands are now officially as red as a lobster from cleaning this in about 900 degree water. When you're cleaning your rab when you're cleaning rabbits or squirrels or anything with fur, you really have to make sure that you get it as clean as possible because there will always be little furs, and I don't know that it's physically possible to get all of them off, but just try your best. So we've got these clean, they're on paper towel, kind of wicking away that extra moisture. And then over here we have a bag, this is just standard flour. What you want to do is just kind of a light dusting, and then we will wait and then we'll throw them in our oil. Now what we're using to fry them in is Crisco. You have to use Crisco. You cannot use some fake knockoff brand. It has to be vegetable shortening. Throw it in a pan. 350 degrees is kind of what all good cooking is done at. And so we will kind of go by that standard. And now we will kind of demonstrate the process. Grab, grab, a, grab a small handful of your rabbit, squirrel, whatever. Seal it up in this. Uh, we'll put more in there. We can put a decent amount in here. Without it getting too gnarly. Throw it in your flour. Kind of give them a little shake, make sure they're all adequately coated. Light dusting. And you just kind of want to throw them in your oil. Kind of get your pieces in there, and then when you have all your pieces in there, fry it till it's brown on one side, and flip it over, and fry it till it's brown on the other. Kind of a, no, no real set recipe. Okay, that's all the way through in there. And we'll get back to you when all of our squirrel is coming out of the fryer. Hello. We are now in the final stages of our squirrel production. Um, they're all out of the fryer, out of the oil. This is what five squirrels looks like, if, in case you were wondering. I mean, this is pretty much every bit of eatable meat off of it. So now we're going to season it with a little bit of lard. I'm going to talk about you do not, you don't want to cook the absolute schnoz out of them because then it just kind of dries them out. They become tough and chewy. I personally like my squirrels medium rare. But now we'll kind of give you guys our first impressions and wrap up the video so Meech would like to come out and join us. Alright. This looks like a good piece. Alright. <coughs> Watch your soul. Mm. Tastes like squirrel. 
It's very, very similar to rabbit. Very, very rabbit. I mean, you taste. It's not bad. It's good. We would give this four four schnitzels out of five. I mean, we, we will we will eat this plate. We will catch you guys on the next roast Arctic Man video. Stay safe.